If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day so I never have to live without you. The third-rate mind is only happy when it is thinking with the majority. The second-rate mind is only happy when it is thinking with the minority. The first-rate mind is only happy when it is thinking. What I say is that, if a fellow really likes potatoes, he must be a pretty decent sort of fellow. Did you ever stop to think, and forget to start again? It is more fun to talk with someone who doesn't use long, difficult words but rather short, easy words, like what about lunch? Organizing is what you do before you do something, so that when you do it, it is not all mixed up. One of the advantages of being disorderly is that one is constantly making exciting discoveries. Don't underestimate the value of doing nothing, of just going along, listening to all the things you can't hear, and not bothering. The Old Testament is responsible for more atheism, agnosticism, disbelief, call it what you will, than any book ever written. It has emptied more churches than all the counter-attractions of cinema, motor bicycle and golf course. My spelling is wobbly. It's good spelling but it wobbles, and the letters get in the wrong places. A writer wants something more than money for his work, he wants permanence. I suppose that every one of us hopes, secretly for immortality, to leave, I mean, a name behind him which will live forever in this world, whatever he may be doing, himself, in the next. Almost anyone can be an author, the business is to collect money and fame from this state of being. I gave up writing children's books. I wanted to escape from them as I had once wanted to escape from Punch, as I have always wanted to escape. In vain. I am sure of this, that no one can write a book which children will like unless he write it for himself first. If one is to be called a liar, one may as well make an effort to deserve the name. You can't stay in your corner of the forest waiting for others to come to you. You have to go to them sometimes. Is The Wind in the Willows a children's book? Is Alice in Wonderland? Is Treasure Island? These are masterpieces which we read with pleasure as children, but with how much more pleasure when we are grown up. Bores can be divided into two classes, those who have their own particular subject, and those who do not need a subject. War is something of man's own fostering, and if all mankind renounces it, then it is no longer there.